Today in our 2018 Ford F-150, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the Blue Ox tow bar wiring kit, part number BX8848. What the dial kit's going to do for you is while your Ford is being flat towed behind your RV, traveling down the road, it's going to allow you to transfer all those signals from your RV into the Ford. For instance, you turn on your brake lights, your running lights, uh, your turn signals, all those are going to transfer through to the vehicle while it's being flat towed. Now the purpose of the diodes is to protect the factory wiring on the Ford from any backfeed from the RV and vice versa. It's going to protect the uh, RV wiring from any backfeed from the, the Ford's wiring. As far as the installation goes, it is pretty simple installation. You will need a light tester to test the wiring to figure out which, one, uh, which wires are your brake wire and your running lights and turn signals. Other than that, all you're doing is transferring uh, wires running wire from the back to the front. First thing we need to do to start our installation is we're going to go ahead and get everything out of the package. You're going to get 12 foot of green and brown wire. Then you're going to get your four pole wire that's going to route to the front of the vehicle. You're going to get your four diodes, two for each tail light. Then you're going to get your female spade connectors. They're going to hook onto your diodes from your wiring. You're also going to get a butt connector, ring terminal, self-typing screw, and then an extra white wire for your ground wire. Some of the things that you're going to need, crimpers, you're going to need, and you can just use a socket, this is to get a, a socket wrench if you don't have a battery operated one or electric one, 5 16 socket, and that's to remove our tail lights. You're going to need wire strippers, and you're going to need a light tester. To remove our tail light, we're going to start on our passenger side, we're going to remove this bolt and this bolt. We're just going to pry our light off. You want to make sure that these alignment tabs that are here, we don't break those off. Once we get that disconnected, we'll go ahead and unplug our tail light and set our light aside. Now we have a coating here. We need to remove that. And actually, if you look back here, there's a little clip that's holding our wiring on. If we unclip it, it might make it a little bit easier to work with. Give us a little extra room here. Pull our wires out, so a little bit more. Now with our tester, we actually have our right blinker turned on right now. Uh, it, it's a little bit easier if you have somebody actually sit in there so you can run through all the functions at once. Now our brake signal and our right turn signal uh, should be on the same circuit. So uh, we'll, we're just gonna be using two wires. So what we're gonna do is we'll we have our, the other end of our light source or our tester hooked up to a ground and we're just going to push it in like this. So that's going to be our second prong, which is going to be this green wire with the orange stripe. Then you're just going to do that same process for your running lights. Through testing, we determined that as I mentioned, the green wire with the orange stripe is going to be our turn signal and brake signal. And then our blue wire with the white stripe is going to be our running light signal. So I actually stripped it back a little bit farther. Uh, this is a little close here by the plug. I mean, you can do it there, but I like to give myself room. So I actually went down here. I'm going to cut my wires here. Gives me plenty of room for my diodes. Go ahead and start with our... Actually, we can just cut them both back the ends. I'm going to add one of my spade connectors onto each one. Like that. We're going to do the same thing with our green wire. Take our diode. You're going to see it's going to have two ends and an out. Out is going to the tail light and is coming from the wiring. Like that. And we'll take our other blue one and plug it into one side. Same thing with this one. Just like that. Then you're going to take your green and your brown wire. And if you follow it down, I pushed all of it down through that hole where my uh, factory wiring is going because the other end of this is going to be going over to the driver's side. We're going to go ahead and make these connections first, though. 
We're gonna add our spade connector uh, once you strip back your wires. And if you remember, our blue wire with the white stripe was our running lights, which is gonna be our brown. We're gonna plug that in, in with our blue wire. And then our green wire is gonna be our turn signal and brake lights. We're gonna plug that in with the diode with the green uh, wire and orange stripe. And one thing I forgot to mention is electrical tape. I went ahead and put my wire loom back over. I'm actually gonna take these, I'm gonna see if I can't tape them on here. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the tape, I'm just, I just want to hold them in place so they're not bouncing around. Push our holder back in place. Now we can put our tail light back in. I went ahead and routed my brown and my green wire over from my passenger side. And I fed my four pole wiring up through the hole here on my driver's side. Now how I ran my green and my brown wire, I went uh, up above my spare tire bracket, uh, just ran across the bottom of the bed basically. You just want to make sure you're staying away from anything hot or moving. Uh, I did zip tie it to uh, where this wire goes down to the bottom of the bed. I did zip tie it there so it stays tight across the back. Really uh, it doesn't matter how you run it, uh, that's just how I did it. So now what we're going to do with our brown wire you remember our brown wire on our passenger side was running to our running light signal. When our vehicle's being flat towed and our, we turn our running lights on in our RV, if we don't have this line or this brown wire coming from our passenger side jumping across to our driver's side, the passenger side light is the only one that's going to come on. So we need to tie this in with a brown wire on our four pole wiring that's going up to our six pole uh, plug. We'll put them together like that. And then these will go on to our running light signal on our driver's side. Let's go ahead and strip this wire back here, which is our four pole wire. And then as far as our brown wire here, we're gonna cut it down a little bit. Put these two together. Go ahead and put on one of your spade connectors. My green wire I'm not going to be connecting that to a diode on, on this side. I'm just going to connect my green wire from my four pole and my green wire coming from my passenger side for the blinker together. Go ahead and cut this down. And then these we're just going to strip back a little bit. We're going to add a butt connector on them. Now your kit is going to come with a butt connector. However, I'm going to replace it with a heat shrink butt connector because our wiring is going to live outside of the vehicle. So go ahead and add that onto the end of the green wire. Just connect our other ends like that. And we'll take our heat source and shrink the butt connector. On our driver's side, we determined that this white or gray wire with that orange stripe is going to be our brake light and turn signal. Uh, and then our blue wire with the white stripe again is going to be our running lights. So then we're just going to splice them into our wiring the same way we did the other side. Go ahead and split them. Blue wire. Blue wire. Double brown. Brake light and turn signal, orange and gray or orange and white, yellow, and the other end of our orange and, orange and white. And our white wire is going to be our ground, strip it back, and your kit's going to come with a ring terminal. Now with the self-tabbing screw that comes in the kit, I'm actually just going to ground my ground wire right here. need to run the other end of my wiring up to the front of the vehicle. Let me get that done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. So you can see my wire here. I went over top of my frame rail to the inside, over top of this cross beam here. Just followed my existing wiring, my factory wiring, all the way up to right here where it goes back over top of my frame. See it there. Just followed it all the way up to the front of the vehicle. 
I just ran it right along my frame rail, and you can see I ran it right up above my shock tower, zip tied it up there so it stays above it, came out to the front, frame rail, just dropped it down the inside here. Now we need to figure out where we're going to mount our six bolt plug. The only place we can really do it without actually cutting into the uh, bumper itself is this hard plastic that's right underneath our bumper. Um, I did have to bend the bracket a little bit so it would sit straight. Uh, if you do it here, just remember this bumper actually stops about here. So to get the nut and bolt on it, uh, it's a short one that comes with your base plate kit, but to get the nut and bolt, up inside of there, you're gonna to have to pull it down a little. So you can see I've got two marks there. I just took a little marker, marked the two holes, and I'll put it in about like that. Now what we need to do is we need to get our wiring through. I like to try to keep it as hidden as possible. So if you see, I put on my six pole plug. I have my boot on. I'm actually gonna drill a hole straight up right there. That way when I pull my wire through, most of it's going to be behind here. There. So now I'm going to give myself a little extra. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right here, pull my plug back off, and then we'll make our connections on our plug. Back of our plug, we're going to have a rubber boot. We're going to go ahead and pull that off. We're going to slide that on, skinny in first. Well, if you look on the back of the plug, it's going to have GD for ground, TM is going to be running lights, LT for left turn, RT for right turn. Take a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. Make sure you don't pull these all the way out because they will, they can get lost, they're small. Let's start with our brown. Just like that. Keep in mind that this plug does not come with this wiring kit. This, is, this uh, kit you have to purchase this plug separate, but it can be found on our website. We're gonna add some dielectric grease, which can also be found on our website. I'm just gonna kinda of cover my connections here. So help protect them, help keep the moisture off. Slide your boot down on top. Take some electrical tape, tape over the end of my boot like that. I'm actually gonna go right down the end onto my wiring. And can reinstall our plug. Now we're going to test out our wiring using an alternate power source. This is going to simulate being hooked up to the RV. Tail lights, left turn, brake lights, right turn. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Blue Ox tow bar wiring kit, part number BX8848 on our 2018 Ford F-150.